But this is for Umzel, four hundred million for Umzel, and this is what they're teaching. This is what they're using your money for to teach. So, because I think if you look at labor's history over the years, you'll find that you know we've had a very violent history. This is taken from the classroom. Mm -hmm. Protest in certain instances. Uh, strategically played out and for certain purposes that industrial sabotage doesn't have its place uh, I think it, it certainly does uh, but uh, as far as uh, you know and I can't really honestly say that I've, I've never wished uh, or have, have never been in a position where I haven't wished ill harm on somebody or uh, uh, inflicted any pain and suffering on some people that all human you know didn't didn't ask for it but you know it, it certainly has its place it, violence is a tactic this is Judy Ansel. It's, it's to be used when it's appropriate, the appropriate tactic. It's, it's a She's tactic a professor of labor studies, by the way, at UMKC. This is a student in the class who is, is talking to well-paid professors and talking about the, the bourgeoisie. It's uh, hysterical. Militancy means high levels of participation and willingness to undertake creative uh, and in-your-face tactics, creative. I think. And the American labor movement would, never would have had the successes it had without that kind of militancy. Yeah. Isn't that just precious? There's nothing creative about getting in somebody's face. No, there's nothing creative about that. And and we have more audio, by the way, of, of Don Gilgem uh, discussing how he uh, would intimidate individuals as a union worker and all of this stuff. But we're going to go to the phones here. I'm going to take Ray's call in just a second because he's an alumni from UMSL. But just 373 or 372 uh, uh, 300, uh, million University of Missouri operation of various campuses and programs from the general revenue. Fund. I mean, you can go down and down and see exactly where everything went to. Uh, and in total, it ended up being about uh, $400 million. And Governor Nixon put in a request to have that same amount for them in the 2011. In 2011. Oh. oh, yeah. 